Hi there, I'm Sandra Nelson. I am a healer, intuitive, and I'm a coach, and I love vision boards. I'm quite well known for my vision boards here in Ireland, locally, and um, there's quite a lot of people have achieved amazing things from going to my vision board classes, which I cannot take the full credit for. Um, but I am very excited because there are many people who have created relationships, bought new houses, changed jobs, had babies, more than one baby, got engaged. Um, some people changed their car. You know, there's a lot of people have achieved a lot of different things. And the vision board classes that I teach, I will share um, a little bit about them. One of the things that's really important for you to do because everything's gone online and we're just starting to open up because of the COVID restrictions are being lifted here in Ireland. Um, I'm posting this video in the middle of May in 2021. And that these are the times that we live in. So the vision board classes, one of the reasons why it's so important is that when you come together collectively in a group of people, lots of people have different things that they're talking about. And it's it sparks off ideas and it sparks off good chemistry and um, getting really, really clear on your vision and on your agenda and what it is that you would like to create is one of the most important things that you can do. I've read many, many books on leadership. I've read many books um, that have been written by spiritual leaders. And that is a theme that shows up in all of these classes and through all of these people's lives is that they set really, really clear goals and then they maintain a connection and they feed those goals energy and they believe in them. They create a real strong sense of self-belief. What a vision board does is it helps you get so clear on what it is that you really want. So there's sometimes I've stuck images on a vision board and I've got that thing, whatever that object is in my life. And I've gone, oh God, I really don't want that now. And I've changed my mind about it. And a vision board is giving you a represent, it represents what's in your imagination. And when you spend time looking at your vision board on a daily basis, and daydreaming about the different things that are on your vision board. And it could be that you would like more health and wellness and mindfulness in your life. I have created a vision board completely all about wellness, all about self-care. And at the time I was really busy and um, I was busy, but I wasn't really productive. And, you know, and I was stressed out and I didn't have time to do all the things that I really was enjoying and I really liked to, to do in my life. So I created a vision board spontaneously all about wellness. Within a short period of time of creating that vision board, um, I had yoga on it. I met lots of people who just started yoga classes. My friends started yoga classes. I started yoga. Um, meditation, lots of people started back doing meditation. They hadn't been do meditating for a while. Um, and in my life, you know, that had an impression on me. I got back into my deeper practice of meditation where I, I meditated for longer each day. Um, consciousness around our food. So what we feed ourselves is going to have an impact on our body and our energy. So all these things I put onto this vision board and within probably a six month period of time, my entire life around self-care had a. Uh, reorientated itself to lean more towards um, good food um, spending time doing what I really wanted to do um, and being motivated in my life to actually um, put effort into self-care and mindfulness and to make time for for spirituality and mindfulness in my life for my own practice um, for my own you know inner self so I don't know if that's covered quite a bit on the vision board, uh, vision boards and why they're important. Um, I'll go a little bit more into the classes in, in a video, which I'll post up on that um, page separately. But I hope it has maybe sparked a little bit of uh, curiosity and um, inspired you to create a vision board. And if you don't you know, create a vision board yourself, you'd be very welcome to join one of my classes. 
and uh, and that way everyone has the chance to have questions and answers so I go through lists and lists of questions that people ask me um, about vision boards and problems that they've had and I'll speak about the energy footprint or the energy blueprint of what it is that they're trying to do and you know on how to approach it from a uh, mind body soul um space and that way it can actually really help to i suppose uh, change some patterns that you might have or some limitations or that sense of stuckness uh with your vision board uh the good news is I created a vision board about two years ago and I love my car. I really love my little car and um, but it's old and it was time for me to get another car. And I forgot I put a particular car on my vision board, totally forgot all about it. And I was tidying up the other day and um, I've just bought another car. And I was tidying up the other day looking for something and then I find the vision board and I have bought the exact car that I put on my vision board two years ago, but I had forgotten about it. And so that's also some of the surprises that can come with vision boards. You can put things on there and you've sent that signal out, you know, into the world and, you know, then it can just bounce into your life as a big surprise. So I hope that has given you a little bit of inspiration about vision boards and I hope to see you at some of my classes or uh, on some of my other videos that I'll be posting uh, in, in the near future. Thank you so much.